Good morning, good morning, good morning. I am Mark Barda, and welcome to the Queermosphere, your weekly insight into anything queer. I hope everyone had a great week and a wonderful weekend. I know I did. I bought the brand new Nintendo Switch this weekend. I traded in my PS4 and decided to bite the bullet and get the Switch, and I couldn't be happier. Um, I kind of bought this with the intention of playing with my partner's kids, and you know what? I don't know who's going to love it more, them or me, but I know there will be so much fun to be had, so I'm super excited. Do me a favor, if you like what you see, let me know in a comment, or follow, or subscribe. But, let's check out the comings and goings of last week. Well, Pete Bootygig gives us his take on being a new dad. A hundred students walk out of a high school for defending a gay student from bullies. And Christians freak out that Playboy put a gay boy on its cover. Don't go anywhere but to refill your coffee and come back because we're about to get started. Pete Buttigieg, our Secretary of Transportation, says it's been wonderful when he was asked about handling his twin newborns and it's everything people tell you to expect and more. He said, it's the most demanding thing I've ever done and I used to think 5 a.m. was early. Now I think it's nap time if I'm lucky and yet I catch myself grinning all the time and we're just over the moon. The world learned that the booty gigs were parents this last August as they released a photo with Penelope and Joseph. You know, I love seeing gay men adopt children. It's something that I've always thought about doing myself. Hint, hint, Jason, the booty gigs aren't that far in age from us, so it's still a possibility. I want to wish all the health and happiness and sanity to these two great men and their beautiful newborns. Parenthood looks good on you both. Well, over 100 students walk out of a high school in Missouri in support of a gay student who was facing constant bullying. It seems that the administrators and staff at the Summit High School in Kansas City haven't done much to help Danny Lillis, a senior who's been the target of bullies for his sexual orientation. He said that he had reported the harassment multiple times to administrators, even crying sometimes. I'm telling them that I don't feel safe at school. However, nothing has changed. The violence actually ramped up last week when some students bullied him again and a student came in to help and support him. His daughter who came in to support this young gay student actually got punched in the face and there were no teachers around to break it up. Instead of just punishing the bully, now all five students are facing suspension. Well, because of this, 100 students decided to walk out. Students held signs that said, be kind, stop bullies, and waved their pride flags. Their petition calls to end the suspension, investigate the bullying, and apologize for inflicting fear into the LGBTQ populace of their school. All I have to say is this, if you see something, do something. If one of your queer brothers and sisters is being accosted, do not stand by and watch it happen. Step in, take a punch, give a punch. Support your brothers and sisters. Well, Christians are going nuts because Playboy put a gay boy on its cover. Earlier this week, Playboy announced Filipino YouTube star Brighton Rock would appear in a buddy suit on the October 2021 cover. Well, conservative Christians aren't having it and are having it out, saying that it's degrading women by featuring pictures of naked women. And now it's degrading to women by not having a woman on the cover of a porno magazine. Do you see how stupid you sound? You were mad at women for being on the cover of a magazine naked, but now you're mad that a woman is not naked on the cover of a magazine? You guys are too much. I can't, I can't with you people. Well, Bretman Rock is not the first male to be on the cover of Playboy. Bruno Mars, Donald Trump, Burt Reynolds have all graced that cover. Well, it is a big deal for the LGBT population. So instead of picking up a porno mag, why don't you stick to the good book? So instead of picking up a porno mag, pick up the Bible. Isn't that your go-to book, you conservative weirdos? 
Well, that's the end of my look into this last week and the queer happenings that I found the most interesting. I do, however, have lots to do today and very, very pressing matters, which means I will be spending probably the rest of the day playing my Nintendo Switch, Mario, Zelda, and Metroid, and the various other games I have amassed. Let me know if you want my friend code. We can totally play online. Make sure you check out lgbtqnation.com. If you see something that you think I should mention in one of my videos, please don't hesitate to let me know in a comment or DM. And also, if you've yet to subscribe or follow, please do so you get my weekly videos in your feed. And as always, and most importantly, always start out by being nice. But girl, if nice ain't cutting it, burn the bitch good. All right, everyone, have a great weekend. I'll see you next Sunday. Bye-bye.